What's good, y'all? You got the BBG coming back at you from the 603. So there's a couple things I want to talk about in this video. First thing, I'm going to talk about the coronavirus. And second, we're going to get into the Giants and the draft. But I tried to resist not talking about the coronavirus, but I just had to. You know, this, this coronavirus bullshit's gone on long enough. And I just think, you know, I know it's serious. I take it serious. But the media is just, just overblowing it just a little bit too much. In my opinion, you know, they're getting people scared. They're getting people afraid and fear. You know, I understand that you got to be alert, but, you know, you can't live in fear all your life. You know, it's like, if I walk outside, I mean, who knows who has a coronavirus? I know that, but you can't live in fear, you know, and the people... The people that do have the coronavirus, they need to have some common sense. You know, it shouldn't be corporations. It shouldn't be whoever's fault it is. Besides the people that have the coronavirus that don't listen to the doctors. And, you know, they don't self-quarantine themselves. They just go outside and they, ah, ah, fuck it, whatever, you know. Because they don't give a shit. So then more people are going to get sick. And, you know, the people that do have it, when they're out... El- like, elderly people, they're the ones that are dying because their immune systems are sadly shocked, but, you know, there's got to be some common sense here. I mean, just stay the hell home. Just stay home. You know, it's not that hard. You know, work something out with your loved ones or, you know, talk to your bosses or talk to your company that you work for. <clears throat> you know, like, if I was... Like, if I'm at a job, and I know someone that has the fucking virus, I don't want to be freaking near them. I want them to go the hell home, because they're going to get more and more people sick, and all it takes is one damn person to freaking spread it. That's all it takes. And it's freaking made its way throughout the United States, and freaking people are in a freaking frenzy, and all that shit, and the people that do have it, well, they don't fucking, they just freaking go out and their normal lives and like there's nothing wrong and more and more people are getting sick you know this bullshit has to stop you know this this bullshit has to stop but you know that's just my opinion on it so second part of this video so talking about the giants i read now they have three compensatory picks and i have an idea what they could do with one of them I know Rhett Ellison just retired, I think the other day or a week ago or so, but that does leave a void at tight end because we don't know if Evan Ingram's going to stick around because he doesn't stay healthy. That's the problem for the New York Giants. He doesn't stay healthy, and his numbers reflect that. You know, he, he had a few couple good games, but, you know, not enough sample size, but I could see the Giants taking a tight end with one of those picks. You know, I know that for a fact that the Giants will take a tight end because that's the one, besides wide receiver, I think we don't need to take any more wide receivers because I think we do have a very underrated wide receiver core. Tight ends. Tight ends are a very underrated part nowadays in the NFL. They really are. And if we can get a stud at tight end that can run block and pass block and also catch out of the freaking, you know, slot... We'd be golden, you know. They definitely need to take, you know, wherever the picks land, but they definitely need to take a tight end for sure. Just so we can give DJ some help. Because what I, you know, I can't really make up my mind at this point what, the, what they're going to do with the fourth pick. I think they're going to go defense because, you know, that, um, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Simmons kid, I think it is. That Simmons kid's a beast, and I think he's going to go to us. But there are some pretty good offensive linemen. They really are. And I want to be upset either way, you know, because they're both they're both a needs. They're both needs on this team. And, you know, I really hope it's a, def- like a good mix of defense and offense draft. You know, a good mix of get some offensive linemen, we got some good linebackers, you know, some good edge rushers. Um, you know, 
that's that's what I want out of this draft. But you know, knowing gentlemen, he'll always throw a curveball. So I just hope it's not with the fourth pick. You know, the sixth pick, I gave him a pass. I gave him a pass last year because I didn't know much about Daniel Jones, and I was one of those people that were like, I wasn't like like overly pissed. I was just you know confused. <laughs> You know, but but he's my guy. I support him. I support DJ. I give Gettleman a pass on this. You know, I just hope he doesn't mess it up this year. You know, but anyway, there's a lot of ways that this can go. There's a lot of ways. And, you know, the the Giants are going to be on the right track because look at the, the Cowboys right now are in a freaking state of flux. The Eagles are, you never know with the Eagles. And the Redskins, you know, they're the Redskins. So, we could be a sleeper in this division this year. We really could be. Even though we're rebuilding. I think we could surprise some people if we could just pull it together. Get the right players in free agency. Don't overspend in free agency. Because when we did that in 2016, it blew up in our faces after we made the, the playoffs. After our only winning season about, you know, the past decade. But... Anyway, guys, that's my whole opinion on the state of the Giants right now and this whole coronavirus crap, you know. Now, I just read that in the NBA, there was a game that was canceled. I think it was supposed to be played tonight. I can't remember who the teams were, but but as they were on the court, they just suddenly left. I can't remember who the team were, teams were, but uh, but yeah, this this stuff is crazy, and it's it's not good. It's not good, so... This has been the BBG. Stay safe, everybody. Be, be happy, be healthy. I'm out.